Hi guys, this is Stephanie Davis with the Boulevard Company and today I'm showing you the Otranto Plantation House. This is in Hanahan, South Carolina. It is believed to be the oldest structure in the state of South Carolina, built around 1679 by the Middleton family. It sits on 1.75 acres on the banks of the Goose Creek Reservoir. It has an in-ground pool, a private dock, pool house, and you can see there on the left of your screen behind the flag that is known as the cook's house, which was originally the kitchen for the main house. It's a two-story home with 2,600 square feet, three bedrooms, and three baths. I'm going to give you a look around the neighborhood. The most notable thing other than the age of this structure is the beautiful oak trees. As I show you a look down the street, you can see that these oak trees line both sides and make a canopy. It's just gorgeous. But the neighborhood Otrano Plantation is a Hanahan neighborhood with no HOA. You're going to see a variety of home styles. The houses are spread pretty far apart and again they are um, situated around the Goose Creek Reservoir. All right let's go ahead and take a tour of the house. So this is your view from the front porch nice big yard of course the trees everywhere giving you shade that tree is just gorgeous lots of parking in the driveway sturdy columns all the way around the house beautiful red porch exposed wooden beams house was just painted and got a new roof in October of 2019. This is the historic marker. There are several sets of French doors going into the house, treats and window over the top. We are coming into the family room. You're going to see lots of fireplaces throughout this house. I love the wood molding, the dental work there, all the way around the room. Nice big windows letting in lots of light. Beautiful hardwood floors. You can see they're gleaming. This is the dining room. It joins the family room and the kitchen. There's the fireplace for this room. All of the fireplaces are working. It's a big kitchen. Lots of counter space, lots of room for entertaining. There's your fireplace back to back with the other two and then you come back into the family room so it makes a nice circle off the kitchen is a full bath by the way these are the stairs that go up to the second floor I'll we'll get there in a minute Bath has a jacuzzi tub and moving through the bathroom, get back here to a study, which could also be a second master or first floor master because behind that door is a nice big closet. Kind of see the size of it there. Of course, there's a fireplace in this room like the others. Here's another French door. Takes you out to the pool in the backyard. 
And then we come out the other side of this room. It's the family room again. All right, I'm going to take you upstairs. So here we are on the second level. As you can see, the hardwood floors are gleaming up here just as much as they were downstairs. That is a little study nook or office alcove. Could also be a little yoga room. We have two bedrooms and two bathrooms up here. This is the first bathroom, very spacious, obviously. I have a cedar closet here to the right, just to the top of the stairs. Lots and lots of storage in there. Um, these two bedrooms are very ample in size. These unique door frames and doors are so interesting. With a house this age, you just kind of wish the walls could talk. Each of these bedrooms up here has its own fireplace, ceiling fan, two windows. Again, very spacious. Across the hall here is the second bedroom. Again, two nice windows. There's the fireplace. This room has a nice view of the water and the pool. I'll show that to you. And then the adjoining bathroom also has the laundry in it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the grounds. This is the little house beside the plantation house. At one time, it was known as the kitchen. It was the original place of cooking meals way back when. Of course, they didn't want the kitchen in the main house. It was too dangerous. So nowadays, it makes a really nice office or a workout room or a playroom. This wall is where the fireplace was originally. So this is the pool area. It has that palm tree there for the tropical feel. The pool is in ground and goes to 12 feet. It has an oversized grilling area and huge grill there in the corner for entertaining. But here's a look around. Um, the pool house here has the screened in area. And then here to the left, there's two bathrooms. One of them has a shower. At one time, this pool was used as a community pool. So it's equipped for the ladies room and the men's room. And then on this side that you can see the, behind that white wall is additional storage. There's also this storage shed here. There's the door to the storage. Both of those doors go to one room. And here is another look at an oak tree. All right, let's go and look at the dock. This is the yard right outside the pool. You can see up the hill, the house there. And then there's this long fairway down to the reservoir. There's another amazing oak tree. But I thought we could walk and talk down to the dock um, I mentioned that the house is in Hanahan, South Carolina. If you don't live in the Charleston area, I want to give you an idea, I guess a frame of reference for where Hanahan is. Um, you see this Goose Creek Reservoir. It actually does not let out to the ocean or the harbor. It's a contained lake reservoir. Um, I believe it's I don't know, six to eight feet deep in its deepest parts. It's not very crowded. It's a great spot for fishing. 
I don't recommend swimming in it just because there are known alligators in it, but it's beautiful and does provide opportunities for recreation as you just saw that guy go by in his boat. But Hanahan is 18 miles, at least Otranto neighborhood is 18 miles from downtown Charleston and that's the peninsula that I'm talking about. So you can get there in about 20 minutes on I-26. Also, you can get to Daniel Island in about 20 minutes. You can get to Mount Pleasant in uh, closer to 30 minutes and West Ashley in 20 minutes. This is so pretty here. It's a little bit windy today. I think there's a storm coming. It's gonna rain soon. So this water isn't as calm as it usually is. But it's still very pretty and very serene to come out here and just kind of sit. Enjoy the view and the tranquility of the water. Um, so I was saying that we're about 20 minutes from West Ashley. Citadel Mall is my reference point there. 10 minutes from the Charleston Airport. Here's a look back at the house. And then about 20 minutes to Somerville. So it's really centrally located for most employers and if you want to get to the beaches it's about 30 minutes from this neighborhood if you're looking for a unique property with uh, the opportunity to really do what you want as far as um, making it your own um, this is certainly checks those boxes. If you have any questions or you'd like to see it in person, give me a call. Stephanie Davis, The Boulevard Company, 843-870-0890. As always, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time.